So we're going to be doing a little uh, video series to document um, how we put this together. <laughs> Hi guys, uh, this morning got a couple of meetings, um, we are looking to put on a showcase for older players in the summer, um, so we're looking to help those players who are realistic and want the chance to, to progress. Um, we're hoping to, to put on a showcase which will replicate or be close to as if you were training at a club. Um, so it would be daily training for a week which would lead up to a match at the end of the week. Uh, the best players or the players who do the best in training across the week will be selected for the match. Um, we want players to be realistic and we want to work with clubs who realistically will be in a position um, to sign so maybe clubs that are from tier 5 to tier 8 um, who can afford to at least cover the players expenses um, I think with a lot of trials and showcases you pay uh, money for pay, pay a lot of money to go to places where they advertise they've got scouts from Premier League clubs um, but for an 18 year old is it really realistic that they're going to sign for Arsenal I believe it's a lot more realistic for them to go in at maybe tier 5, tier 6, tier 7 um, uh, work hard, get first team experience um, and then be able to to make their way up. This is a really good time for us to reconnect with our friends in football, uh, our contacts from across Europe. We've had lots of success with our academy and now we have a strong network for our players from 16 and down. Uh, we want to make a real connection for the for the older players. Uh, we want to target our recruitment and placement of, of 16s and above and help them to achieve their goals. So we're going to be doing a little uh, video series to document um, how we we put this together and what happened. Okay, I'm Tony Smart. Yeah. My official title is I'm treasurer, but of course um, it, I, I have a wider remit than that. In that, I look after ground grading and uh, support the managers, uh, uh, book the training facilities. Will be put, you know, all that yeah. sort of general yeah. Yeah, yeah. managers type yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we were we were formed in 1895. There's a reference to one of the local papers, Livingston Green Football Club, playing in some friendly game. Uh, I don't know how long we've been here, but we've been here we've been here since the war at least. Yeah, the Second World War. Uh, the uh, we played the Spartan South Midlands League Premier Division. We were originally a county league side, Hearts County League. Got promoted into South Midlands, had a few problems with getting floodlights. Once we got that, we had not looked back. Yeah. So the last few seasons we have struggled a touch, but um, uh, last season we finished seventh in our 21 teams, and we won the St Mary's Cup, which is a local nice. yeah. cup competition, which is all the Spartan leagues so yeah. in decorum playing. Cool. So yeah, pretty good season all yeah. round. Um, and uh, how do you kind of go about uh, recruiting players? Recruitment is mainly. generally uh, down to the managers. Yeah. Um, but you do get players introduce players. You do get the chairman will pick up a player because he's got contacts. Um, obviously, uh, uh, our good name goes before us as well. Yeah. So you do get people that come in pre-season that will actually say, "Can I train with you, please?" Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. pretty good. Players do have and flow very much so. You know, they yeah. played one or two seasons, not like the old days where they played 20 seasons. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's our recruitment. Uh, this season, we have not invited anybody to pre season training because the two managers, the joint managers, have decided they were inviting people. Yeah. So it's a change of philosophy. Yeah. yeah. Information on the players' budget, if you have a budget for players on the
you play to the highest level you can play at. Yeah, yeah. Which is yeah. Good. Have you got any um, specific kind of short or long term targets for the club? Yes, we have. Yes, um, very much so. And his target, he wants promotion this season. Yeah. Which is very good, but of course only one goes up, although two this year. Oh, okay. Um, the FM told us that it's going to stay at two. Yeah. We don't know that. So, yeah, so it's a pretty hard task out of 22, oh, 20 teams this year. Yeah. yeah. But um, so, so that's our target. I guess, it is, as I've said, you try to play the high standard you can. Yeah. Should we have a quick, should we have a look, quick look around? Yeah. yeah. Today we met a head of recruitment from a, a level six of so a step two club. Um, he asked not to be filmed, so um, we're kind of respecting that, but just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the things that we spoke about in regards to the showcase. Uh, he was saying how hard it is for those players to make it um, who are out of the system. Um, he's saying it's so important for players to be getting uh, first team experience. Um, so he was kind of trying to say that those players that are getting match experience um, and working hard uh, is really important. Uh, he felt for him that the psychological and physical aspects were really important, looking for strong, fast players who are also really physically, mentally strong um, because you're going to go through ups and downs. You've got to be prepared to work hard, uh, take the good times and the bad times. Um, obviously, technical stuff is important but can still be worked on at the club, but that physical and the psychological is really important for him. Uh, he said the showcase was really interesting and he'd definitely be attending. Talked about um, number the normal of uh, players going from non-league into league football this year. Um, so just a, f a couple of examples. You've got uh, Rhys Alassami, who's gone from Dulwich Harmlet to Coventry. Alex Woodyard, who went from Lincoln to Peterborough. And Manny, who went from Aldershot to Port Vale. Just a couple. But a lot of those players are starting to drop into National League, work hard, get experience, and then get themselves back into uh, league football. Uh, it's important to, to, to gain experience. Uh, a lot of people... Uh, at football league clubs and they send their CV saying they've been here and there but uh, the real experience is something that uh, the clubs are really looking for uh, rather than just kind of sitting on a bench or, or whatever you need to be gaining that experience so that's what we hope um, we're going to give some of the opportunities to players to come to this showcase and, and get into these clubs and get some experience if you're a player who's ready to put themselves in the spotlight at an up-and-coming showcase, uh, then please visit our website www.performanceglobal.com forward slash showcase. Uh, all the details will be on there for you to book. Um, it's going to be happening in July pre-season. Uh, it's going to be training and then the best players selected for the match. Uh, you can keep up to date on the journey on our YouTube channel. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe.